Right, with the back and front cover over there, it's all been taken off. Take it steady, it will come off if you loosen off all the screws I've told you to loosen off. The front is easier to get off first, so it's you ease from the bottom, and if you look up underneath, you'll see clips you can actually um, use a screwdriver to push out. But um, it's it's a gently ease it out and it will come off. Once that comes off, you don't really need to have the back off for this job. But we, if you look here, you can see if I stand it up anyway, you can see the feed motion lifting up and down, the cam going up and down, just here. That's controlled by this stepper motor. So there's the hook going around as it did before. Currently I have no power on it because I've taken disconnected everything. Um, but you need to be able to ascertain what's wrong. Now if you look straight down between the needle and the hook you can see the plastic gear that rotates the hook. Now that on this particular model of machine it's actually pinned so you don't have an adjustment there. That's, that's fine. But unfortunately, there is an adjustment, and I'm just going to turn the machine over. Should it ever go out of time, sorry about the camera movement. It's the other end of the shaft, you'll see two Allen screws. One. And the other side, if we carry on, two. So there's two screws, one there, one there. They need to be loosened off to be able to move the shaft which is this one here get the camera on it this one here which attached to the drive belt and the track in the tractor adjustment is there so you need to loosen this off to actually draw uh, to adjust that shaft then that will change the rotation speed, the timing in other words, of the hook. It runs all the way through there and so on. So if we were to loosen these two screws off, this shaft will move and you can adjust the timing. It's pretty unusual for it to happen where you need to do that. But it's there to do should you need it. Other models, when you've taken the back and front cover off, not just Brother, Genomi, Elner, Faf, they have the timing screw on the gear. This one is really inaccessible. If you can see here, I'm showing you the gear rotating. You can find it on this camera. You can see the gear going round, which is just here. I just try and point it out here. If I can get the screwdriver in there. There we are. Put the back there. That's the gear. There's no adjustment, so we can cancel that <coughs> adjustment. This end, forget it. It's the other end of the shaft, which is the one I've been showing you. Here. So we'll stop the video again.